Enter for a chance to win a big box of crayons, a set of watercolors, and an artist's pad of paper. Send pictures to refrigerator123 at gmail.com. Every picture is an entry, so the more pictures you send, the more of a chance you have to win. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Refrigerator. Today's special guest is my friend Tyler, reading from his refrigerator in Florida. Welcome back to The Refrigerator. I'm Tyler, welcome to my tiny kitchen. Today we're gonna to be reading Outlaw Pete by The Boss, Bruce Springsteen, with illustrations by Frank Caruso. Outlaw Pete. He was born a little baby on the Appalachian Trail. At six months old, he'd done three months in jail. He robbed a bank in his diapers and his little bare baby feet. All he said was, folks, my name is Outlaw Pete. Now we're gonna have a call and response. I'm gonna sing, you sing back at me, just like I do. I'm Outlaw Pete. Can you hear me? Very good. At 25, a Mustang pony he did steal. And he rode her round and round on heaven's wheel. Father Jesus, I'm an outlaw, killer, and a thief. And I slow down only to sow my grief. Here we go. Let's sing again. Repeat after me. I'm Outlaw Pete. Can you hear me? Very good. He cut his trail of tears across the countryside, and where he went, women wept and men died. One night, he awoke from a vision of his own death, saddled his pony, and rode out deep into the west. Married a Navajo girl and settled down on the res. That's short for reservation. And as the snow fell, he held their beautiful daughter to his chest. Here we go, repeat after me. I'm outlaw Pete. Can you hear me? Very good. Out of the east on an Irish stallion came bounty hunter Dan. His heart quickened and burdened by the need to get his man. Uh-oh. He found Pete peacefully fishing by the river, pulled his gun, and got the drop. He said, Pete, you think you've changed, but you have not. He cocked his pistol, pulled the trigger, and shouted, Let it start! Pete drew a knife from his boot, threw it, and pierced Dan through his heart. Ouch.
Dan smiled as he lay in his own blood, dying in the sun, and whispered in Pete's ear, We cannot undo these things we've done. We're going to whisper sing this one, okay? After me. You're outlaw, Pete. Can you hear me? Very good. For 40 days and nights, Pete rode and did not stop. Till he sat high upon an icy mountaintop. He watched a hawk on a desert updraft slip and slide. Moved to the edge and dug his spears deep into his pony's side. Some say Pete and his pony vanished over the edge, and some say they remain frozen high upon that icy ledge. A young Navajo girl washes in the river her skin so fair and braids a piece of Pete's buckskin chaps into her hair. All right, let's get our loudest one yet. Outlaw Pete! Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The end. That was Outlaw Pete. Now it's time to do some drawing. So we got a tiny kitchen, but we're gonna draw something that you could draw anywhere. I got my trusty whiteboard here. I got a marker. We're gonna do just a basic drawing here today. And you can do this with a pen, a pencil, a paintbrush, anything that you want on any kind of surface you want, okay? If you want to color this in, you'll be able to. But what we're going to draw is a 10-gallon hat. Oh, what's a 10-gallon hat? Well, every good cowboy knows you need a hat. And a 10-gallon hat, that's the biggest kind of hat you can have. So here's how you draw a quick and easy 10-gallon hat, okay? You're going to want your paper to be vertical here, okay? And you're going to start with a really simple oval at the real top of your paper. Okay, so just like this, a nice flat oval, all right? I'm not a great drawer, maybe you're a great drawer, you're probably better than I am, but even if you don't think that you're awesome at drawing, I don't either, and you should be able to draw this. So we have our flat oval at the top, and now we're gonna draw two curved lines, but they're not gonna curve too much, okay? We're gonna come here at the edge of our oval, and we're going to go in just a little bit and we're going to come back out. All right. See, not too big of a curve. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just come in barely and we're going to flare back out. Okay. Mine's a little cockeyed, but that's because I'm drawing kind of weird. Yours will be look much better than mine. Now we're going to draw another oval. Okay. At the bottom of the hat, we're going to go to right about where our curved line flares back out, okay? And we're going to just make a nice nether big oval. This one's even bigger than our other one, all right? We are making the bottom of our 10-gallon hat. That's a big cowboy hat right there, okay? A couple more lines and we're almost done. This line that we did with our almost oval, we're just going to finish it straight across, all right? Then we're going to come down here to the bottom and we're going to make another line straight across. All right. Connect that line if you haven't already. 
and now we have our 10 gallon hat. Almost looks like our Outlaw Pete hat, so we're gonna do a few more things to make it look even more like Outlaw Pete. So right about here, you can get really fun and do a couple of different designs right here, okay? This is a nice little strip of fabric across the hat, all right? I'm gonna do a couple of lines. I'm just gonna go across, 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 across. Now I'm gonna go the other way. Across, 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 across. Just made a couple of X's, and look how much better the hat looks already. My 10-gallon cowboy hat's gonna look a little worn and faded, and so I'm gonna do something that makes it look like a rip. And the way that we do that is we come up here, we're gonna draw a straight line, all right? And now we're gonna do a little starburst. Just a bunch of jagged lines, okay? And now, kind of looks like a little rip in our hat, right? My hat, again, it's a little older than some other hats, so it's got a patch in it. Here's how we do a patch. We're just gonna do a tic-tac-toe board. Now, looks even more worn down, okay? Here at the top, no top of the hat is clean. And so I'm just gonna do a couple of spots to make it look a little dirtier, okay? I'm gonna just, just kind of scribble in a little bit. See how it's not quite even? It's almost like a little bit of a triangle. And I'll do the same thing up here. Now we have our 10 gallon hat. It's worn down a little bit. It's seen some tough days, just like Outlaw Pete has. And you can take this hat, you can make your own design on it, color it in however you want, and you can be your very own cowboy. Thanks. Enter for a chance to win a big box of crayons, a set of watercolors, and an artist's pad of paper. Send pictures to refrigerator123 at gmail.com. Every picture is an entry, so the more pictures you send, the more of a chance you have to win. Swimming pools of drunken fools who told their folks they went to school Didn't learn a silly thing all day Grew up into modern clowns, strolled around, policed the town Dragged their feet in a cattle love cliché Burning holes in summer skin I'm turning into rust again The years fly by under the Florida sky. Neighborhood nights when everyone stopped worrying and started to drop in.